Yo, what is up guys? Stale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you're doing well. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, hit the like, it really helps us out. Anyway, should children be taught how to defend themselves? Should boxing, for example, be taught in schools? Over the years I've heard this topic come up on numerous occasions, you know, from various different people, people who are inside of boxing and outside of boxing, fors and againsts. I've heard uh, a lot of people talk about this topic, and I really wanted to share my two cents on the whole scenario. Um, first and foremost, from my perspective, if I, if I had a child, I would encourage the child to take up some sort of combat sport, a combat sport in which is viable in a real world scenario should they have to defend themselves now as a kid at least in the uk a lot of parents like to teach their children how to swim they'll send them to swimming classes for example because the argument is well if they fall in water and you know they need to save themselves they'll know how to swim so it's a good skill to have and i agree and also obviously it's a great way to keep fit so something like swimming is pushed in the UK because it's great to keep yourself safe and it's a great way to stay fit. Now me personally, I put combat sports like boxing, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, you know, things along those lines, I put those those sports in the same category as swimming when it comes to, you know, encouraging children to learn those those sports because ultimately, like I say, I see combat sports in the same vein. First and foremost, obviously, it's a great way to keep fit, you know. Right now in the UK, in the US, in the Western world, we have an epidemic of child obesity. You know, with the rise of technology, a lot of children are sedentary. They sit on their mobile phones all day. They play games all day and they never really get outside. As a result, you know, these kids are getting fatter and fatter and fatter as the years go on. And that's because of a lack of sport and a, and a lack of activity. So obviously, you know, something like boxing, uh, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, whatever it may be, these sort of sports can obviously encourage children to stay fit and healthy. But on top of that, you know, these sports or these combat sports are also very viable in, in day-to-day -day life. You know, we live in a crazy world. You could be going about your business as a law-abiding citizen and somebody out there could try and rob you, they could try and harm you, and if you're in a position where you don't know how to deal with that, then obviously you're in a lot worse position than somebody who's got the capability of defending themselves. You just give yourself a better chance on getting out of that situation if you have some form of combat experience under your belts. Now obviously just because you learn a combat sport doesn't mean you're going to come out of these situations unscathed, but if learning boxing or Muay Thai gives you a 5, 10, 20% chance of being more likely to come out of those scenarios, then in my opinion it's worth learning. You know, it really is worth learning. And obviously if a, if a child does get in those scenarios, you know, the ideal scenario is actually to try and avoid those, those situations and, you know, try and defuse them, but ultimately I think you do need that that skill set behind you if something does go down and you have no other option you should have the uh, know-how on how to defend yourself whether it works or not in that situation who knows but if you learn how to box if you learn how to kickbox if you learn jiu-jitsu you at least have a better chance of getting out of that situation unscathed or with as little damage as possible so i've always thought of a combat sport as a necessity to teach a child, particularly a boy, from my perspective, you know, if I had a young son, I would make him learn boxing, whether he likes it or not, you know, he would have a few lessons, get the basics sorted, whether he likes it or not, he can stick with it, that's fair enough, but if he doesn't, give him a few lessons, make him learn the basics, and if he ever needs to fall back on that, at least he's got a better chance of defending himself if he gets in a position where he needs to, if he needs to defend himself, right? So, I've always thought, you know, combat sports, it's a good idea to teach a child on how to defend himself or herself. And obviously, if they really like it, that's great, they can get involved, 
and hopefully make it make a success of it and um also you know particularly with boys I, i've noticed this a lot you know as the years have gone on so many boys these days apparently have adhd well i'm not convinced about adhd obviously it's real but to what extent is adhd being overdiagnosed by a lot of doctors you know they want to just give their these patients their pills the kids their pills and get them out of the office is that what's going on right now i'm not sure but it's funny how as kids are getting more sedentary as kids are sitting in front of screens more often the rates of adhd seem to be going up year by year and obviously young children especially boys are boisterous they've got a lot of energy and let's be honest, sitting in front of a screen is not going to deplete those energy levels. So at the end of the day, these kids are still going to be very energised, very scatty, and ultimately they're not active enough. And, you know, something like a combat sport is ideal, in my opinion, for a lot of young boys. A lot of young boys, like I say, they've got a lot of energy that isn't being used, it's not being used up. And also, naturally, young boys have a lot more aggression than, obviously, girls. And, you know, combat sports, it's a great way to hone your aggression in a controlled environment. Even if you're just hitting pads or hitting the bag, it really does, um, you know, release that sort of energy. And I think in this day and age, a lot of boys are not being able to release that sort of energy because, let's be honest, there is an assault on masculinity. Boys can't really be boys anymore. It's not okay for young boys to, you know, show signs of aggression or get that sort of energy out of them. I mean, when I was a kid... We used to play fight and all sorts, you know, Gets we used to get fucked up sometimes, but no questions were really asked. It, it was just one of those things. We used to go outside, you know, we would make our own games where it would involve combat of some description. And at the end of the day, yeah, we might be battered and bruised a little bit, but we was tired and, you know, we got all of that energy out of us and nobody got seriously hurt. It, it was just boys being boys. But these days, you know, that sort of behavior is discouraged. You know, it, it really is. I mean, I was having a conversation with a family member of mine who's got a young boy. He's nine years old and he's very, he's very energetic. He's very scatty, doesn't sit still. And um, I mentioned the fact that maybe, yeah, it, it might be a good idea to take him down a boxing gym or some sort of martial arts gym. And she was dead against it. I don't want to get I don't want to get him hurt. You know, bloody, bloody, blah, blah. Well, it's a controlled environment. He's going to learn a valuable skill at the very least. And if he enjoys it, that's something he can focus that energy on. But she was dead against it. I would not want him to get hurt, bloody, bloody, blah. I mean, come on, man. I'm not sure what's going on here with with, um, with the Western world and boys. It's not okay to get your aggression out in a controlled environment or a controlled fashion, you know? Bro, in my day, I sound like a right old cunt. I'm not that old, trust me. But in my day, we used to get our aggression out in non-controlled environments when kids actually used to go outside. I think I was actually the last generation when kids actually went outside regularly. And even in my day, you know, it was less and less and less. A lot of kids didn't. They they were keen to sit in front of their Xbox or play on their phone. But um, we used to go outside. We used to have a laugh, get in a few fights here and there. Just, you know, just some light-hearted shit. And um, it was great. It really was. And as for boxing... I started learning boxing at 16, 17, so I wasn't a child. But even then, even when I learned, took up boxing then, when I when I used to go to the gym, hit the bag, spar, etc., I always felt a lot more controlled in my emotions, in my anger, and things like that. I, I didn't lash out as much, and um, yeah, I just felt more uh, more relaxed overall than when I wasn't boxing. And even now, I'm not boxing right now, obviously, with what's going on. And even now, I feel like I'm harboring a lot more negative energy than I usually do. And that is partly on me, actually, because I do have a heavy bag that I've not used that often recently. So maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here, but yeah, I do feel combat sports, you know, they can certainly help kids in a lot of ways, you know, with the obvious examples in terms of fitness and... Um, you know, teaching kids how to defend themselves, but also, I think, with the type of energy boxing needs, or kickboxing needs, etc., I think that sort of energy, depleting that energy, makes a lot of children a lot more calmer, a lot more self-assured, and a lot more confident, because that's another thing with boxing, in my experience, my confidence did go through the roof, and it really honed down my aggression. Funnily enough, I used to fight a lot more before I started boxing. You know, when I was a young kid, you know, I got in a lot of trouble, um, 
And even when I boxed at the start, I was getting in a lot of trouble. But as the years went on, I felt it really kind of uh, mellowed me out. And um, yeah, I just wasn't as aggressive. I wasn't as hot-headed as I used to be. So boxing for me, in this day and age in particular, in my opinion, would be very useful for a lot of children. You know, I'm talking about real combat sports, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, you know, things like this. Viable combat sports that you can use if needs be, and also sports that, you know, take that aggression out in young kids. These sports, in my opinion, are underutilised in today's society. And I'm really talking from a male perspective, because, you know, I do feel there's an assault on masculinity in young boys. You know, like I say, boys can't be boys anymore, you know you know, play fights, things like that are outruled, you can't sort your differences out with a fight, but you know, when when in, when in I was in school, we always got in, we always got in squabbles, and if you had a problem with somebody, you'd have a fight, and that, and, it, and it would end at that, you wouldn't get excluded, you'd, ha- you'd have a detention, and that was really it, these days, if you get in a fight, you're getting kicked out of school maybe, do you know what I mean, so, I, I'm, I really do believe combat sports has a place, even with even with children, so I wouldn't be against combat sports being implemented in schools. Again, not not um, it would be optional. You know, it it wouldn't be mandatory. It would be optional, but I think that option being there would be good for a lot of kids. A lot of boys, trust me, would snap at the chance to learn how to box. A lot of boys would, a lot would. I mean, if if I had that opportunity when I was at school. I damn sure would have done it. And back then I really wasn't as big a boxing fan as I was now. And I would have still done it, you know. So that's just my opinion. You guys may think I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I I think it could be very, very beneficial for children to learn these sort of combat sports. And I think the ones I mentioned are are more than appropriate. There's a lot of combat sports out there that are kind of fraudulent in my opinion. You know, things like Tai Chi for example... That sort of martial art is completely useless. And I bring up Tai Chi because, again, the uh, family member I was talking about earlier, she had her kid doing Tai Chi, and he thought it was boring, and he really wasn't invested. You know, there wasn't really a, there wasn't really enough to it. It's complete nonsense, you know. Whereas, it's not. I don't even call it a combat sport, man. It's complete nonsense, but there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of fake martial arts out there, but if you stick to the basics, you know, full contact... Boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Jiu-Jitsu, you know, things like that. I think these sort of sports are great for children. Great for anybody, in fact. They really are. And yeah, I think these sort of sports should actually be introduced to the curriculum in, in PE in the UK and in the Western world in general because there's a lot of kids out there right now who are morbidly out of shape. They've got crazy energy levels that aren't being stimulated and they have aggression that they are not getting out of their systems. So um, that's how I see it anyway. Share your thoughts below. Peace.